Kim Hybrex has knocked out Gerwin Price. That is a turn up for the book. 6-3 to Hybrex as Humphreys here looks to finish this one in style and almost does. Missed the bullseye for both a 164 and a 170 in this game. Yeah, the results are absolutely rattling in at the minute. Game and that shot. 110 rattles in for you, and so the game does continue. That 6 3 win for Kim Hybrex over Gerwin Price. And it's about to get very difficult for Humphreys after this point. He plays Vandenberg or Clemens. I don't know how he does that. That 140 is miraculous to all of us, but to him, it's normal. He is the mayor of doing the abnormal and making it look simple. That 140 was 60. simply ridiculous. Only 60 this time. Yeah, Vandenberg or Clemens next, and then potentially Luke Little. So just put your feet up, don't go anywhere. 140. Or if you're elsewhere, like at work, and you've got this on your PC or something like that, just pay attention. Double 16. Game shot and the match. Just Luke too Humphreys. good, Luke Humphreys, on this occasion. So he does get his own back on Jürgen van der Velde. And he hasn't been given the easiest of boards, because let's face it, some of them 100. are easier than others. This is particularly poisonous. And Gabriel Clements finding some poison arrows as far as Vandenberg is concerned here. wonder if he's a fan of ABC. He's trying to shoot that poison arrow through his heart right now. This may be a nail in the coffin if he finds double 11. I want to spell that was, but the double deserts him. And Vandenberg, who took out 127 in the very first leg of this match, now needs the 1 2 1 and gets a go at the bullseye. But this 18. time, he's nowhere near it. Straight down the line. Gang shot. And into a 5 2 lead. The fact that he hit it with dart three makes Dimitri feel even worse because... Dramatically celebrated ton with a scruffy score of 44. Practices his swing in the background as this time, Gabriel Clemens decides laying up is the best option. It was. It's amazing how many times that 170 is the one that tempts you the most. 180. Oh, well. Is that wasted? Six. It's not, you know, it's caused three more match darts to go begging. That's five in total, and the 180 piled the pressure on the shoulders of the giant. This is for a break of throw. Things could change in the next few seconds. Game shot. Because now that Dimitri's got that, that's not good. 26%. These guys should, at this level, expect 96. for a season to be around 37 to 39%, in my opinion. 26% at any time in a game is running the risk of losing. But Clemens has still got a chance. And there are two chances, of course, to get over the line. But just imagine how he would feel if he loses out. He'll have another chance to win the match. Five 180s now, matching the number of mismatched darts. And this time, 96. Vandenberg hasn't got the big visit up his sleeve. I'll give Dimitri credit, he's hanging around here. Now we'll go for the bull. Ah, and, the match. and the irony. After missing five darts at the outer ring, Clemens beds the bullseye to win the game. A 6-4 win. This match, one of those was against Littler in a match in which he missed five darts for the game. And Littler piles the pressure on again. Yeah. Double top for Keane. 46. He might pay the penalty for that because it's break time once again. Game shot. Doesn't need double 10 this time. Well, this isn't grade A or even B, maybe not even C, Luke Littler, but it's so comfortable. It's so weeks of play. Just got to protect that for the next few weeks. 
He would love to top the table, of 100. course, going into the playoffs. But making the playoffs is priority number one when it comes to that campaign. As for right here, tops is the priority. 96. He'll come back for tens this time. And there's that low dart again. I'm convinced now. 41. Maybe I've just talked myself into it. You've made your mind up. <laughs> Can use that. Just crash into it, and it's yours. Game show. Like that. Easier said fake news and getting on people's cases and things like that. That was a fabulous thing to say. 180. But the fact that last week one of the big stories was that Littler was copywriting stuff is an absolute embarrassment. It's just part of his business. It is the right thing to do. When he comes to this dartboard, this is his escape away from all of that nonsense. Did you see the... Uh, before we get to the end of this match, which will be after the next visit for Luke, by the way, did you see the birthday card in a very well-known supermarket? 100. <laughs> you definitely don't Luke your age, was the tagline. Treble 20. For the ball. 103. Not quite done yet. No shot at ball for Keane, and this might be the guillotine coming down again for the 11th consecutive time in a first round match. Game shot on the match, Luke Littler. And so it is Luke Littler who demolishes Dynamite on this occasion. Last time they met, Keane missed five darts to beat. Well, it's easy to say it after time, but I'm not sure it was the wisest thing to do to stay there. It clearly clattered into the dart and wasn't the greatest marker for Knops. Adam Hunt goes aggressive. Is he going double 17? That was the plan. 51. Had the choice of going bull to pretty much guarantee himself a dart to win that leg, albeit at the smallest target, and even then it's usually partially blocked. But it's a clear sight for Robbie Knops. Having already missed a handful Game of darts for the match, Robbie he Knops. finally gets over the line. A victory against Adam Hunt by six legs to four. It should have been a greater margin of success there for Robbie. Robbie, that one for you. I'll give you any development in that darting duel. But in this one, Richie Edhouse has just hit his first maxi of the match. 140. One hundred and forty. Followed by a one forty to again give himself a massive advantage in a leg. He's done this quite a lot in this game. One hundred. But here comes Cross. His second one eighty. And it's only one dart double for Richie Edhouse. Twenty two. Can Cross convert? One eighty to set this up. Treble eighteen would leave the ball. Not to be. Sixty three. Game shot. And Edas gets to five. And I can tell you that Michael Van Gerwen has himself got to five and is looking to avert the danger. Departing this tournament early. It's gonna to open up this for somebody. 60. 60. We do have a good handful of players already through to the third round now. Luke Humphreys, the world number one, is one of them. 6-4, he's beaten Gabriel Clement. Stephen Bunting has seen off another German in Pascal Ruprecht, 6-3. I've already mentioned the wins for Landman and White. White beating Michael Van Gerwen. Brett Claydon has followed up his win against one Welshman in Johnny 57. Clayton by beating another in Robert Owen. Josh Rock seen off Scott Williams and Ryan Searle has defeated Dylan Slevin 6-2. All of those players into the last 32. 98. And Nathan Aspinall has just joined them. 6-2. He's beaten Danny Lauby by Richie Edhouse looking to get there as well, but he can't convert the 110. 54.
Can cross. Can cross. Well, this 18 segment has not been good to him in this game. 74. And he finally hits a double when he only needs it for a setup rather than to win a leg. This to win the match. And Rob Entry Cross crashes Richie out. Really well. And Rich Airdas did play really well. Rob Cross acknowledges that, but he departs, and we are seeing some of the biggest names in world darts. Ryan Sird against Van Veen or Kai Van Hoven on three, and Dave Chisnell or Mensha Suljevic against 50. Luke Woodhouse or Owen Bates on four. Soon to be make your mind up time. 59. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Fifty six. The last chance you would think. He could go for treble 18. Hasn't even entered his head. He's stepped across. 100. And does manage to find the treble 20 with his last dart, but it's too that. late. Jose and that Deselta. is a fantastic performance from Jose Di So this is for treble 20 either, even if you do throw a, a wayward one. 60. Double double finishes make a lot of sense, but only if you really go for them. Otherwise, you're just laying up. 65. Aspinall, even with a perfect visit, isn't going to get to a finish. Josh Rock has got a little bit of 96. time here. And it's another solid display from Rocky. High 90s average right now. Maybe a big finish to go with it. Double 18. 120. Certainly went for that. Right on the wire again. The other side of where he missed it earlier in the match. But he will return to open up a little bit of daylight. 60. In this duel, game shot. Yeah, it gets it in the end. It was starting to get a little bit sticky. It's nil defeat. In fact, two of them in the very first leg of the match. Well, they're encouraging signs from Jose. Missed match darts, of course, to beat Luke Littler in Belgium Not in the first it. Euro Tour event of the year. Again, Littler went on to win it. Josh Rock for a 12 darter and a 5 2 lead for an iron grip on this game. Double 14. 93. So close. Well, we said earlier in this match that Nathan Aspen always seems to find a way. Those battling qualities, the real fighter that he is. 60. And he gave himself a chance, gave himself two darts, but couldn't take that chance. And now Josh Rock can kick him further, closer to the cliff edge. Game shot. And does. 5-2, he will throw for a very impressive victory here. Humphreys now. Rock potentially three darts away from a 6-2 win against the world number four. 100. And he's got two visits from here. This is Josh Rock's game to lose. Double top. 76. This time it's way over the top, but there is not a thing that Nathan Aspinall can do to stop him. 100. For 6 2 and a spot in the next round. Double 10. It is Thanks another five visit up. leg for Rocky. It is an excellent result. The last four legs, in fact, five legs, all going the way of the Northern Irishman. He is averaging more than 100 for the day, Josh Rock. 10 1 by the looks of it. Yeah, this tournament is. Been really intriguing from the off because we lost some big hitters early. The likes of Anderson, Van Gerwen, Wright, Price, all falling in the first couple of rounds. As mentioned, the winner of this will take on Landman or Meek. 60. Top half of the draw, Richie Head out against Daryl Gurney and Kim Hybrix against Chris Doby. The other two fixtures, 
And then the, into the bottom half, Luke Woodhouse. One hundred and four. It's Carol Sedlicek with the winner to play. Ian White or Brett Claydon. Damon Hetter against Thibaut Treacle and Josh Rock against Ryan Searle completes the last 16 lineup. Yeah, that final quarter is where the only three remaining top seeds are all located. 66. Well, this is double 10, but he's got loads of time here, Luke Littler, who appears to be using that throw. He's just got that pause as he sets the arm ready for the throwing action. 40. He has changed his darts, he's changed his throwing style, and yet what continues to be the case is he produces excellence. Yeah, we often talk about Peter Wright. What is he going to throw with Luke Littler? It's how is he going to throw? But we Get often shot. know where he's going to throw. He has hit 17 today. He's an absolute demon, and you're going to get chance after chance with scoring like that. 45. And that, a little slip for Smith, but he will get the chance for a 1-2-1 one, one finish to get some daylight in this game, something we haven't seen so far. 95. And leaves a big finish. Is a good one. Two treble 20s and double 16. Ross Smith gets the first look, and this is even more makeable. Treble 17 now. Not close. Well, these are the moments. In the midst of a storm from Smith, can Littler land something big? It won't be this 1 5 2. 92. He does pressurise. I wonder if he comes back, whether or not we'll see the flat heat employed. Ross Smith hoping to ensure that he doesn't come back. 44. He can stack his darts, Luke Littler. It would be the time to do it. There's the flatty dart. It leaves the double top bed completely open. Get and he shot. pins it. Expertly done from Luke Littler. Weapon to have at your disposal. Really good standard. Neither player 98. going to the highest level that they can produce. But it's about producing it at the right times. Forty six. All about the setup shots from here. Oh, what a first dart. Had to follow. Doesn't quite again. Leaves 78. Very makeable, but also missable. Sixty. I could have used the ball to leave it a bit handier. And again here, Luke Littler on 78. If it's a single 18, will we see him lay one down? Well, why am I saying he hit a single? He hit a treble. Of course he will. And the double. And it's 5-4. Let's just change the pattern of this game. It may need to be perfect to win this leg from Littler. And it's not going to be. So it's still advantage Ross Smith in this leg. 97. Littler advantage in this match. He would have the darts if we go to a last leg decider. He steadfastly refuses to use the bullseye in these situations. He wants to keep on at that treble 100. 20, and he does hit it more than most. The gamble pays off on this occasion. We are looking destined now for a decider with that slip from Luke. 38. Double 18. Game shot. And we do go the distance in what has been a really good battle for Ross Smith. He is battled so gamely in this match, but he just doesn't seem to find anything in this last leg decider. 92. Yeah, and again, just wayward. Just can't make it happen. Everything he's done, not just 50. in this match, but all day, disappearing at the wrong time for Ross. Luke Littler will just set up 46 and leave himself very, very handily placed to book his place in yet another quarterfinal. This could change things. It asks the question. It's 180 number eight for Ross Smith. Is it too little too late? 
because it's match darts Littler. He survived match darts in the previous round. He's given up one there. He's given up a second. Has Mother Darts come back to bite Littler? Having survived match darts against Humphreys, Ross Smith survives some against Littler. Does he make him pay? It was always going to be a 180 from Ross Smith game that changed Ross Smith. the outcome of this game. And his 20th of the day was right on cue, right on time. 54, 24. Okay, 20 for tops. He's thrown it straight out the board. 38. And there's a... He's just wagging his finger to admonish his own darts there. As if... It had a mind of its own. Josh Rock playing with real sort of intensity, which is how he plays. 20. I do wonder whether that's just held him back in that instance there. He has ultimately cost himself a dart at double. He'd have had another chance to get this leg one. He may not get another chance. Double five. 80. Tebow misses, and it's the first time that's happened where he's missed and allowed Rock back to the board. Working his way in. And does Game work shot. his way in, and working his way towards the semi finals. 28 finish, he's left. And he will get a look at it. But is Tebow Treacol going to take it to a last leg decider? Seventy-eight. Is that the end? Was that his opportunity? Josh Rock for a spot in the semis. Staying on the 20 segment, which he pins double five. Rock Game takes his chance. Josh Rock. Only just anguish from Thibaut Tricol, the first Frenchman ever to reach the quarterfinals of a senior PDC ranked event. However, he does not take the next step into the semi-finals. Who? Especially when your opponent is on a small two data. Well, treble 17 would have left two tops, which I think would have been the route. That chance disappeared very quickly, 55. and Ross Smith has an opportunity to cut the gap to just one leg. Single 19 for double 16. Game We've got shot. a game on here. Looked like Chris Doby might run away with it, but Ross Smith is coming up with the goods could end up being a personal best it could be the day of dreams for Chris Doby here but 95. it won't count for nothing if he doesn't win the title but to do all this stuff and not win the title will be a huge disappointment absolutely he would trade a lot of the metrics that he's found today a lot of the moments for a victory that 170 against De Decker was so ridiculous that even De Decker, who had missed too much darts, could only laugh. Double 16 again. 16. Double Game 8 shot. for another 12. And a 5-2 lead. This is a ridiculous performance from the man in black and white. Four visit leg. No, but if he gets it done in the next visit, he'd have been forcing Ross Smith to find a 12 data or better. 59. And he's only down to 160. Chris Doby running away with this. It Game is shot. brilliant. It is brilliant. It is almost unplayable from Doby. 6 to the score. The average in the 100 teens. 6. And it is to win and to make the final. And a likely game against Josh Rock. 100. Ross Smith has only been allowed double, darts at double in three legs in this match. Such has been the phenomenal scoring from Chris Doby. 50. He doesn't leave himself tops, which is what he was aiming to do with that last dart. Ross Smith, can he conjure up this one to stay in the game, to stay in the tournament? One dart at tops. He gets it. Superb stuff from Ross Smith. And if there's one player in this building that knows that the job is not done until the final double is planted. It is crucial than that. Take a ton here and run. Now he wants more than that. 100. A ton's fine, but you can tell from the eye roll that he wasn't pleased with it. Well, a ton's a bad visit.
for Chris Doby in this match because his average visit is about 112. 100. Good point. Four 18s to leave himself match darts when he returns. He's not going to go for it, surely. 92. He doesn't. He has the four 18s. He has double 16 for a spot in the final, his second of the year. Ross Smith resigned as he hits a perfect setup shot to leave himself tops, but Chris Doby to complete the victory. Hollywood is in the final with his best display of the day, one of the best of his career. And surely, if he wins one more game, it's going to be right up there with the greatest days of his career. He has hit. That's a pretty snappy pace, isn't it? That the rhythm of the throw is not rapid. It's 64. fast enough, but not rapid. But the approach from both players to the hockey, they really do like to get there as soon as their opponent has got to the board to retrieve their darts. This shouldn't be an accident that Chris is in the final as well. 45. He's in the top six of the averages. He's played a lot of games before today. He's had 22 matches. 86. But he was skirting being 3-1 down there and is needing another ton plus check out just to stay in with a chance of 2-2, which is not going to go. Yeah, needed to 55. find at least a 25 with the first dart for that equation. So Rock can... Game shot. Open up a bit of a buffer here and does that with the first hold of throw in this. Well, we're in very different times. Chris does not want to do what Ryan Searle has already done this year, which is lose two finals. However, after losing two finals, he went on to win one. Yeah, and they were all consecutive. Incredible run of form from heavy metal. But Doby here is taking aim at top for the second straight leg. This time he misses it but Game does shot. recover on double 10. His Premier League night that first week. Well, in the quiet 100. of a Players' Championship tournament, it's Chris Doby who's letting his darts do the talking. He's edging closer to another win. Double 11. 100. And Rock needs something enormous here. It's got to be solid as a rock. And it isn't. 29. This is one of those, I don't want any faffing shots. Odd number doubles can be pesky. This time he changes his body position for double four. 18. Same result. However, Rock did make a little bit of a mess in that previous visit, so he's still got a huge one. Treble 15. Would have left tops. Instead, Doby returns for double two. And look at the anguish there from Josh Rock. He knows how big this leg is. And he's probably thinking, why on earth didn't I get more in the previous 83. turn? So double two to move within one. Won't be the easiest dart to navigate for Chris Doby, but he does it expertly. No trouble at all. You don't have to have 109 to win every match. 42. But what we know about this level is that you must be mid-90s and higher to remain with your opponent and ask questions of them. Win, win the big moments, and that's what Chris Doby's done. 180. And it started the other way, didn't it? It looked at the start of this match that it might be Josh Rock who would win the big moments when he punished Doby for missed doubles, but 180. the 6-180s from Hollywood have helped him just get a real grip of the final. Well, well, when he got 180 number six, he's thinking, I've got rid of you now, but then... 174. You've got nine perfect darts in this leg. There were 10, 100. but now the final could be finished in 10. Double six. And Game Doby and does it. Chris Doby. Chris Doby is the champion. A Players' Championship 7.